down here. Getting ready. Uh, wanted to check the tram and see where we were at before we go too much further. Um, so, uh, super stoked. First time I got to use the a little Chinese drawbar wrench. So this is the factory drawbar and then uh, I have a collet in there and this is a Blake uh, coaxial indicator. And uh, this right here uh, is a 12, 12 inch ring. Is that like a homemade, um, I think you can get them um, like commercially, they're often called like a, like an easy tram or something. Sometimes they have legs on them where you can set it over your vise so you can uh, do one setup like, you know, retrams. Anyways, yeah, 12 inch ring, Blanchard ground. Um, so, uh, yeah, this spacer block here was uh, done on the surface grinder and that was a, a priority was to try to keep all the mating surfaces, um, you know, as parallel as they could be and correct any ones that aren't. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you what we got here. So, got to take into consider consideration that this is uh, over a 12 inch ring, so um, it's a little trickier to get it perfect, but um, I'm pretty happy. This is with, uh, this is with zero shimming uh, left to right. It's like drop it on and then I got, uh, I put two three thousandths pieces of shim stock there just to uh, uh, get me close. And without the shim stock, I think it's, yeah, it's uh, it's two thousandths um, difference uh, in the X or Y direction. Um, but it's sort of tricky because this being such a big ring, like, that two thousandths might be uh, negligible, so I'll turn the uh, drawbar with the wrench. So here, you turn it for me. Dial so. Pretty happy with that. It's and you know that's not really you know even trying. Like you could you know spend some more time doing it, but uh, that's on a twelve inch circle. Yeah, on a twelve inch circle. I think for the time seven. spent, um, we're gonna proceed and uh, drop the machine into the enclosure.